Chad. I can't, I can't sleep. Oh, and there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to restart my tennis career when I'm in this kind of shape. Are you still hell-bent on telling your father about your mother and Julian Crane? Oh, yeah, yeah, but one minute I'm all fired up to tell him, and the next minute I back down. You know, my mother doesn't deserve for me to be covering for her the way that I am, but on the other hand, I know it's gonna kill my father when I finally do tell him. I mean, my father has no idea that the woman that he loves is nothing but a low-down, dirty slut. to act like everything is normal when my daughter hates me. <laughs> and she's going to tell her father that I'm cheating on him. Oh, if I could just tell her the real story about me and Julian, I know she would understand. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Eve, I thought this was your car. Ethan. Are you all right? No. No, Ethan, I'm, I'm not all right. I'm not all right at all. Blacking out, Pila. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I've told you before. The name is Carlos. Right. Look, I want you to know, you and your son are two of my best workers. Why don't you take some of the tuna cans in the stockroom for your family if you want, huh? Okay, thank you. Thank They're not good enough to send out to the stores, but they're good enough for us. Miguel, hijo, por favor. Gracias, Carlos, eh? Any time for you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Who the hell does that guy think he is giving us handouts? I mean, he's lucky we've been working here in this dump. That is no way to talk. It's better to be grateful for what we have than to complain about what we don't yeah, have. Maybe you can do that, Mama, but not me. Okay, I never knew life could stink so bad. Literally. I'm just tired, that's all. No, that's not all. You know, I, I've lost Charity. She's fooling around with every guy in town. She wouldn't even let me talk to her. So you talk a good game, Mama. You know, but I can't think of one thing to be grateful for right now. Sam. Hey. Sorry it took so long, Sheridan. Sure, just stop by the house as I was leaving. Are you two back together? No. She, uh, just stopped by to let me know that she was sticking with Antonio. Look, Sam, I'm telling you that Alistair Crane and Dr. Acklin are behind this somehow. I don't know, they had a brainwash or something. Well, what did Sheridan say? Well, she says that I've got it all wrong, that this is solely her decision. You know, I don't even know how to fight it anymore. I'm telling you, I thought that all this bad stuff was behind us, and I don't know if we're ever going to get a break. Well, I'm afraid I got some more bad news for you, Luis. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How bad can it be? Look, I need your gun and your badge, because as of right now, you're suspended from the force. little brat. You get over here this instant or I'm gonna slap you again. Do you hear me? I will smack the tar out of you. Listen. Ooh, I warned you and now you're gonna get it. Oh my god. I've got to get little Ethan away from Rebecca. I just really don't think I can go along with your plan. Okay, it's too cruel to make Teresa think her little boy's being abused. What's cruel is what that little tart cost you and Ethan. Now, Gwen, you've got to keep your eye on the prize. That is how you get what you want out of life. Now, on to step number two. Mother, this is horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, isn't it just? <laughs> I'm going to bring the little tartita down once and for all. Teresa's never going to see her son again. of the one
one who could sing so sweet. And I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You keep me up alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. Suspended from the force. What the hell are you talking about? Do you remember firing your weapon inside Harmony Hospital? Oh, come on, Sam. Hey, you know how that happened. You know I was half out of my mind with an Alistair Crane and that doctor were doing to share it in the hospital. hospital administration doesn't accept that as an excuse. Okay, they notified the mayor right after the episode. Okay, he called me this morning and demanded your dismissal effective immediately. You're saying I'm fired? Look, I talked him into to a suspension for now. But yes, he wanted you fired. Now, I can't tell you when or even if you're going to get your job back, Luis. Damn it, you have to learn how to control your emotions. You're still thinking about that time I shot my gun off in here, aren't you? Look, at this point in time, you're in no shape to carry a gun, much less use it. Now, I want your gun and your badge, because as of right now, you're suspended from the force. Without pay. Mother, this is unnecessarily harsh. Okay, it's not only gonna hurt Teresa, it's also gonna hurt Pilar and their entire family, and they don't deserve that. Oh, nonsense. They are the blood relatives of little Miss Piranha, and as such, they will fight you tooth and nail to make sure you do not take her son. I didn't think about that. Gwen, you cannot go soft on me, okay? You can't get revenge on Teresa and listen to your conscience at the same time. I just don't want to see other people get hurt, all right? Well, unfortunately, to make an omelet, you have to break a few eggs. Now, I am willing to break as many eggs as I need to to make sure that you are little Ethan's mother and not Teresa. Miguel, you guys are home. Hey, are you in pain? What's wrong with your neck? Uh, uh, if I, I didn't, I didn't sleep very good last night, so. Wow, you guys look exhausted. I'll go put the fish in the fridge. Oh, God, what's wrong with him? Well, he's just down, that's all. He seems to have given up hope. It must be a family disease. Hey, 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 Teresita. Uh, huh? You can't let your sorrows overwhelm all the reasons you have to be grateful. Grateful? Yeah. <laughs> for what, Mama? Grateful for the fact that Rebecca Hotchkiss Crane has stolen my son away from me? Or are grateful for the fact that she's abusing him in the house and I can't even prove it? What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, this morning, I, I heard Rebecca yelling at him, and then I heard, I heard her slap him. What? I'll kill her. No, no, Mom, please, please don't, please don't, please don't. You're just gonna go to jail if you do, please. You see, the worst part is, nobody believes me, because I don't have any proof. I mean, my wits end, Mama. You know, I, I just, I need to get my boy back, and I feel powerless. Join the club. I'm doing everything I can to meet my responsibilities. You know, to be the kind of man that Mama raised me to be. And what's it getting me? Let me tell you, nothing. Just stop that talk. Both of you. If you had gone to church with me last Sunday, you would have heard Father Lonigan tell us that we... Look, as long as there's life, there's hope. And we all need to look on the brighter side of things. Now that is uh, easier said than done. Sorry, Luis. I, I know that you're hurting over losing Sheridan. I know, but... Think about everything you have to be thankful for. Your job, for example. You're, you're a wonderful policeman. Was. I'm not a cop anymore. What are you talking about? Well, Sam just asked me for my gun and badge. I was suspended from the force. 
without pay. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe Chief Bennett would do that to you. How are we going to pay the bills? Oh, what were you just saying about the brighter side? Baby, I'm not surprised you can't focus on your tennis. No. I mean, I can't make it through a game, Chad, much less an entire set. I can't concentrate. You know what? I'm actually so rusty, it's ridiculous. Your heart's not in it. It hasn't been since we left for L.A. And what about singing? That's been your dream. <laughs> yeah, Chad, that's all it was. I mean, it was just a stupid fantasy. Some things aren't meant to be. Well, not you and singing. Whitney, you've got the voice of an angel. All right, and, and L.A. is not the only place you can record. I mean, we have everything we need right here. Yeah, Chad, we do, but... But, I mean, we but nothing. We can record a demo, we'll, we'll tape it here and send it out to the execs in L.A., and before you know it, you'll have a record deal. You're making it sound really simple. No, it's hard work, but you can do it. Baby, it's like anything else. Either you can fight for your dreams, or you can just lie down and let them die. But my father's gonna kill me if I even try to do something like this. And your mother's not gonna be too happy about the idea either. Yeah, well, I don't really care much about what she thinks about it. Then it's up to you. Whitney, you're the only one who has to live with your choices. So you can give up singing and pretend that tennis is the love of your life, or you can fight for what you deep down are dying to do. It's your call. I've never seen you this upset before. What is the matter? It's bad. It's really bad. Well, well tell me. It's just a patient. They're not doing very well. And I shouldn't let it get to me, but sometimes it does. Sorry. I think it's because you care so much. I mean, it's the same way with the legal profession. I mean, we're warned all throughout law school never to get personally involved with your clients or your cases, but I've found that the best attorneys, they always do. I'm sure it's even harder in the medical field because you're dealing with life and death. Yeah, sometimes we are. I don't want to leave you like this. I'm... No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I'm all right. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to compose myself. <laughs> I'll be fine. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. Sure, sure. <laughs> Take care, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's funny how he turned out not to be Julian's son. Two of them are very much alike. TC answers, it'll make things worse. Damn it, I hate that we have to be apart at all, Eve. Where is your backbone, Gwen? I swear you're acting more like your father instead of me. Excuse me? Look, we all know that I'm the one with the you-know-whats of steel in that marriage. And look what it got me. Yeah, divorced. <sighs> Don't be fresh. He got me Julian Crane, the man I always wanted. No, I set my sights on him, and when things got tough, I didn't get all wishy-washy, I hung in there. Just like you're gonna have to hang in there if you want to take Teresa's son away from her. You are not the best role model, Mother. I mean, you may be willing to settle for a loveless marriage, but oh, I'm what? not... Wait a minute, w what is loveless about it? I love jewelry, and because of Julian, I have tons of it. Besides, he's not too bad in bed. Oh, gross. Gross. Ah, when you are such a prude. You know, sometimes I can't even believe you're my daughter. Hello? I was hoping that your cell phone would be all 
I, uh, I almost called the house. No, Julian, you, you don't want to do that. No, I know. I don't, don't want to cause you any more problems than I already have, but I've just, I've been, been out of my mind. Has Whitney told TC about us? No, not yet, but I'm not sure how much longer she's going to keep quiet. If there was just some way that I could make her understand about what's really going on with us. She's already decided that we're just having an affair, so. Well, would it be so terrible just to tell her? I would tell her that in the times that she's seen us together, it's, it's been about the son that we lost. Julian, I'd like nothing better than to come clean about everything. But I'm afraid of TC's reaction. I think that he would try and kill you before he even heard the whole story. Forget about me. I mean, I, I, I can't see you being eaten alive by this any longer. At first, it was Ivy holding our past over your head, then, then Liz and Rebecca, and now Whitney's involved. I mean, why not just take the bull by the horns and just be out with it? I can't, Julian. I can't for so many reasons. Are you crying? No, of course not, but I, I need to go. I'll talk to you later, okay? Yes, if that's what you want, but I'm, I'm here if you need me. Thank you. So are you in or out? Gwen, I can't pull this off by myself. Either you want to adopt little Ethan or you don't. Well, I mean, now that I can't give Ethan the child that he wants... Thanks to Teresa. God. It might be the only way I can save my marriage. Exactly. <sighs> All right. All right. Good girl. Now, first things first, I have to go talk to Julian. Uh, Julian, I need a word with you. We'll have to wait till later. Uh, actually, no, it can't. <laughs> Here, Pookie, I need you to sign this. Haven't I wielded enough crane power for one day? The last thing I wanted was for Luis to be suspended from the police department. Hmm. Well, that's nothing. This is what I need you to sign now. I will not do these things to the Lopez Fitzgeralds. Oh. Well, I can, and you will. Uh, unless you want me to, uh... Talk to TC and tell him everything that I know. It's your choice, Pookie. Whatever you want. You are my passion for life. No, I won't do this. I will, I will not let you destroy an entire family for no reason. Fine. You just signed your death warrant and destroyed the life of the much esteemed Dr. E. Russell. Is that what you want? Hi. Hi. Where have you been? I was expecting you earlier. No, I'm sorry. Mm. I um, mm. ran into Eve Russell. You did? At the hospital? No, no, that was a weird thing. I, she was pulled over at a rest stop on Route 9. She seemed pretty upset. Yeah. When, uh, when was this? It was just a few minutes ago. And I asked her if I could do anything for her. She said she was fine, but I think she lost a patient that she cared about. Oh, I see. Mm. Mm. It's killing you that she's upset, isn't it? And you're dying to go see her. What if I am? Um... Well, you're free to go. Do whatever you want in total secrecy. All you have to do is sign this. But if you don't, there will be consequences, especially for Eve. There. I knew you'd see the light, darling. Don't call me darling. You are a despicable bitch, and I regret marrying you more than I can say. Uh, 
a week ago, I thought I'd be starting my life with Sheridan, and now I've not only lost her to Antonio, but I've been fired from my job. I can't support any of you. I, I made a miserable mess of this whole damn thing. You're not the only one. You can't blame yourselves, Mijos. <sighs> okay, uh, so who should I point the finger at? Sheridan? <laughs> my own brother, Antonio? It's my fault that Charity changed, too. You know, if I hadn't had a baby with Kay, she wouldn't feel like she was shut out of my life. Look at Teresa. You know, she's lost her little boy for God knows how long. Even you, Mama. You know, you lost a good-paying job for the cranes that you had for more than 25 years. You know, now you're working your fingers to the bone at some lousy fish factory trying to put some kind of dinner on the table. Nobody said life was easy, Mijo. Easy? Excuse me, but... I, th I think you're missing something here. Are you always talking about us, <laughs> looking at the positive side of things and seeing the silver lining? And... Well, that's the only way to see them. Look, I hate to break it to you, but that's exactly what the three of us have been doing. Well, Teresa was so positive about her future with Ethan that she couldn't even see the writing on the wall. Same for me and Luis, I guess. You know, we played the uh, glasses half full game. And look what happened. We got blindsided by life itself. The only thing that being positive gets you is a swift kick in the teeth. Basta ya, mijo. I will not stand for this kind of talk when the truth is we are all very blessed. And if you don't feel that deep down in your heart, then I am very disappointed in all of you. It must be tough being a doctor. You know, losing... Losing patience in spite of your best efforts. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I have to look up something on the internet. Will you excuse me? Go ahead. Okay. Mother, if Ethan ever finds out that I'm in on what you're going to do to Teresa... Uh, oh, he won't, okay? He's going to be too busy being a new father to little Ethan. Oh, I almost forgot. I got to run. Where are you going? What? Never mind that. Look, you just start laying the groundwork for adopting little Ethan, but be so. You want to scare him off, okay? That's it. Mommy knows best. Pull yourself together. <laughs> With this help. you tell me where you were when we spoke on the phone? Because I didn't want you to see how upset I was. Don't you understand something? <laughs> That's what I'm here for, to help you when you feel afraid. You're not alone anymore. <laughs> oh, Julia. <laughs> My daughter hates me. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> I do really want to be a singer, Chad. I mean, deep down, that's all I ever really, really ever wanted to do. I knew it. Come on. You ready to start? What, right now? Oh, can you think of a better time? A better place? Look, I've been working on a new song. I'm going to cue it up. I wrote it with you in mind, and I'd love to hear you sing it. I just want to. I just want to listen to it for a few seconds. But the melody is—it's it, really beautiful. Well, it's going to sound even more beautiful once you lay your voice down on that track. All of you have something to be grateful for. I lost the girl that I love, Mama, and we were going to be married. And you have a beautiful little daughter. Do you have any idea what a miracle that baby is? Of course I do. I don't mean to sound like I don't thank God for her every day. Right, then concentrate on Maria. Forget about Charity, mijo. 
Hmm? We have to learn to focus on God's gifts and not resent the ones that we don't have. And that goes for me as well. I may have lost a good paying job at the Crane Mansion, but at least I, I was able to get another job. Oh, come on, that job at the cannery stinks. Luis, that's a decent, respectable job from which I earn a paycheck every week. Do you have any idea how many people there are in the world who would give anything to have employment? Hmm? Mijo, I know that you are hurting because Sheridan chose Antonio over you. But remember all the years that we thought Antonio was lost to us forever? We didn't know if he was alive or dead? Hmm? And now he's here with us home, and he's healthy. I mean, surely that's something to be thankful for, no? Yes, but, um, Mama, he doesn't even want to talk to us. Well, I have faith that in time that will change. At least now we know where he is. Vamos. Mijos, look. Look around us. We have each other. We have our home. I mean, it'll be tight for a while, but we will survive. Miguel is working. Yeah, and I have my few hours a week at the book cafe, so... You see, if we pull together, we will get through this. Yeah. Even if, you know, all we eat for the next three years or so is <laughs> leftover fish from the cannery, but... I hate fish. <laughs> you think you hate it now? You're really gonna hate it in a month. That's all we've got. Tuna casserole, tuna salad, tuna sandwiches. Tuna sushi. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord never gives us more than we can handle. And with his help, we can work it out. It's an old Beatles song. All Beatles songs are old, Louise. <laughs> yeah, well, good music is good music. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. You wait to hear this then, okay? All right. Oh, man. Try to see it my way. Do I have to keep on talking till I can go on? All right. I haven't heard this song in a long time. Let's <laughs> dance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good grief. Oh, how do people stand the stink in here? Hello yourself. Well, as revolting as this place is, you can fillet my fish any old day. <laughs> well, is there anything else I can get for you? Yes. Actually, I was looking for whoever's in charge. That would be me. I'm the foreman here. I'm here about the Lopez Fitzgeralds. Oh, uh, Pilar and her son. They're very good workers. Yeah, They're... whatever. You see, I want to decimate the entire family. And you, my dear, are the one who's going to help me. Whitney, I don't know how it's possible, but I think your voice sounds better than the last time I heard it. Well, that can't be. I've hardly practiced at all. No, I'm not talking about technically. It's where you're coming from inside. I mean, it's like you're singing from way down deep now. You know, maybe it's from everything that's gone on these past few months. I'm really sorry I hurt you so bad. Well, we're, we're past that, Chad. What can I do to make it up to you? Honestly, Chad, it's, it's not you. It's not this whole terrible thing that you had with Latoya. It's my mom and Julian. It's eating me alive feeling the way I feel about the woman who gave birth to me. You know, I just hope and I pray that our kids never have to experience what I'm going through right now. I swear, I promise that I will never keep a secret from them or you, no matter how hard it is to tell the truth, I promise. What'd you say? Did you say our kids? Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess I did. Whitney, that's... It's the first time since I got back from L.A. that you've mentioned us having a future together. Do you still want one? Are you kidding? Whitney, that's the reason I wake up in the morning. Hoping I'll make things right enough between us that we can pick up where we left off before I made my big mistake. Baby, I want to get married. And I want to have kids. And I want to do it all with you. I know it seems like the end of the world right now, but, you know, it's not. Whitney's upset and confused, but I'm sure they're given enough time. She'll sort things out and take in what, what we've been telling her. She'll realize that she's misjudged you. I don't think so, Julian. Did you see the look that she gave me last night? It wasn't even hurt or disappointment or anger. It was contempt. It was disgust. Things change. You know, if you'd have told me 25 years ago I'd ever be able to hold you in my arms again, I would have, I would have said you were dreaming. Yet here we are. Oh, I so want to believe you, Julian. And if I just had the courage to tell Whitney the truth about us, our whole story. I know how to tell Whitney about us so that she'll understand. So, you working from home today? Uh, yeah, sort of. Mm. Personal mm. business. I'm researching adoption. Really? Mm-hmm. You know, I was thinking about that, too. Well, I'm wrong about the whole idea of it taking only a couple months. All the agencies warned that it could take a year or more to find the right baby. Mm. Apparently, it's a very long, careful process. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And especially if you want a newborn. Exactly. I mean, honey, I've been thinking. You know, maybe we shouldn't adopt a baby. There are so many children out there who are just a little bit older who are also hoping to find a good home. I, I never even considered that, but... I like the idea. Yeah. I mean, the only problem is, you know, bonding with him or her. I mean, I'm sure there are so many deserving little boys and girls out there, but I mean, how can we know that we're going to have an emotional bond with them? I'm sure you just, you just play it by ear. You know, once, once you bring the child home and you start getting to know them and doing things with them, I'm sure it's going to take some time, but eventually we'll all start feeling like a family. I guess so. It's a little scary, though. No. Hey, Timmy, you should see the snowman that I made with Nanny. You made a snowman? I bet it's that big, huh? Hey, I'm sorry I didn't come out to help you, but next time, I promise, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. If Mother's plan works out, there won't be any problem with you and your new child bonding. You already love each other. Wait, wait, why are we stopped? Oh, we're at Pilar's house already. Oh, silly people. Well, go ahead. Enjoy yourselves, little familia. Tomorrow, you're going to be crying in your cerveza. <laughs> I don't like what you're asking me to do, Mrs. Crane. Now, Pilar is a good worker. She's a good woman. Now, do you want to keep working at the Crane Cannery or not? Of course, it's just the... Well, then go on. Get out of here and do what you have to do. Now, go on. Now, go on. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Really, I have to... I have to stop. I have to make dinner. We'll help. <laughs> yeah. We gotta hold Teresa's nose and I'll hold yours. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. Carlos, hola. What can I do for you? It's our foreman from the cannery. 
I can't wait to see Teresa so down. She'll never get up. I think I know how to do it this time. Oh, if we could only find our son. I've been trying. No, no, I mean, if we found our son, then we could, could introduce him to Whitney, and then she would see what we had been suffering about for so long. She would see that, that we hadn't been having an affair, and that's why we were seeing each other, but that we were bonded together in this search for our son, and I think that she would understand. I'm, I'm sure that she would. If we could find my mother, maybe she could help make up for you being disappointed in yours. <laughs> well, that would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's if she's a better person than your mom. Well, I think she'd have to be. At least your mother never had an affair with Julian Crane. Can't wait to see Teresa's face when cute Carlos drops his bomb. Oh, don't tell me that I forgot I was supposed to work tonight. Oh, are you here to see Miguel then? Actually, neither one of you would do a work now or tomorrow. Is there a problem at the cannery? What's going on? Look, I'm, I'm really sorry, Pilar. Miguel, you're fired. Bullseye! Let's see how well you all fare when none of you are bringing home a paycheck. Little Ethan will be all yours, Gwen. Soon. says we can't let her get back into the music business i'll do it i'm gonna sing here at the blue note oh. get out of here lazy good for nothing little rug rat nbc thursday an all-new apprentice only nine remain and they're fighting for their lives somebody's getting fired but as a romance heats up feelings towards omarosa get even hotter she is a scheming conniving <laughs> And the stakes get higher, all leading to the best. I think you did four like Boardroom. Who would you choose? Ever. You're fired. An all-new Apprentice. NBC Thursday, 9, 8 central. Go to NBC.com for more info.